All right, a good day to all you glorious legendary resonators, you absolute lovely bastards. My name is Fox Soul. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another topic of conversation here on Weather and Waves. And wherever you're at, hopefully you're having a tremendously fantastic and glorious day. <laughs> all righty, so before we get started into the conversation, I'm just going to let you guys know I have a fear. And hopefully this fear does not come to fruition, but I'm starting to see some things change in the Weather and Waves community when it comes to Kuro's generosity. What is that? Well, that's more of the player's expectations becoming less appreciative and more selfish. This is a conversation that I've had a couple of times on a live stream and some people seem to understand my point of view and there's others out there that says you know what it's good to have player selfishness over company greed well i'm just going to implore you let let's take a step back let's sit back let's grab a cold one together and let's dive into this conversation and let me explain to you my thought process All right, so diving right into this. Over the last few months, I have seen this, and I think even you guys have seen something incredible from Kuro Games. Their love, attention, and generosity towards the Weather and Waves community has been something that's absolutely undeniable. From the free five-star characters that they have provided us to the free five-star weapons and the consistency and the constant quality of life updates that they have provided for us, Kuro has shown, I believe, a level of commitment to their players that is very rare in both the gacha world and even in the gaming industry as it is today. But to me, this is where things get a little tricky now. What started as appreciation, I feel, is starting to turn more and more into expectations. The more it seems like, the more and more it seems like certain players in this community aren't just grateful for Kuro's, Kuro's generosity, but they've come to expect it. And this shift in mindset is just not a healthy one. It leads to a growing sense of entitlement where players feel that Kuro should bend, it feels like, to their every demand. And let me explain why this is a dangerous path for both, not just the community, but the company as well. Let us first talk about Weather and Waves' vision for a second, and the impact of the player feedback that came from it. If we look back at early footage from the closed beta test we can see that weather and waves originally had a more darker more intense tone for its story it was gritty and in my opinion a much more stronger foundation than what we got at the end but due to apparently some feedback with that original beta kuro had made changes on that and it seemed like some players apparently did not like the dark approach that Kuro was doing, and this led the company to rewriting parts of its story. As a result, this is where I believe that the pacing issues were, we're seeing right now in Weather and Wave's story stem from this shift in direction. This is a prime example, in my personal opinion, that you know this is where how community feedback can sometimes interfere with the original vision of a game. And not just in Weather and Waves, but this has happened across other games in the past with, you know, in the gaming industry. While it's important for developers to listen to their players, constant changing based on the demands can also dilute the experience that you're trying to create. It makes me wonder what other aspects of Weather and Waves has been altered or might get altered or even compromise if this trend really continues. Because when you compare Kuro to other gacha companies, such as Hoyoverse, Netmarble as examples, it's clear that Kuro stands out as one of the most given, player-focused companies out there. Their generosity is, to me, a, brush, a breath of fresh air in a space where more often than not, players do feel nickel and dimed. 
right? And Kuro, if you look at them, it does seem very much so that they value their player base. But here's the thing about that. There's a fine line between valuing your players and spoiling them to the point where expectations get out of hand. We all first saw this firsthand with the controversy around Yuhu. When she was announced, it was revealed that she was going to be not on the Shorekeeper's banner, but on the GN rerun banner, and people were upset at that. They were upset that Yuhu was not going to be on the Shorekeeper's banner because they did not want to spend money or their Astrites on the GN rerun banner. They wanted the option to pull both characters on one banner rather than, rather than having to split them apart into two. This backlash was immediate with the players and they even started accusing Kuro of being a greedy company because it seemed like they started forgetting all about the generosity the company had already provided to them at that point. This is where, to me, things get messy. Some players had developed a sense of entitlement, the sense of selfishness, that they're no longer content with the gifts, the quality of life updates that Kuro has provided. They're just now demanding, it seems like. They forget that Kuro has already given them a free five-star character, a free five-star weapon, and has been incredibly responsive to the feedback. Instead, it's like this mentality that if Kuro isn't giving everything exactly the way that this player or that player or this other player over here or little jimmy in the back over there wants it then this company is failing them and to me that this this is a dangerous mindset take it how you want this is a dangerous mindset to take the situation of like the yuhu banner as example curl's decision to place yuhu on the gn rerun banner was clearly a business move like any company they're trying to maximize their profits but because of the backlash they received, and I'll say it like this, was almost being bullied with the vocal minority of the players acting though that Kuro had wronged them in some way, shape, form and not catering to their specific desires, this kind of selfishness from the community can seriously impact the long-term health of this game. Now, Kuro being a generous company is great, don't get me wrong. But if they continue to bend to every demand, I feel that they're going to risk burning themselves out and compromising the integrity of the game they've worked so hard to create. In the second half of you know, 1.3's update they just put in, they have even added the option to players with, you know, Asteroid Coral that if you have any of them, you can get Yuhu now without needing to gamble for it technically. So again, this was a response to the backlash. While it's great for Kuro to listen to their players, I do worry that if this if this pattern continues, we'll see a company that, you know, constantly caters to the loudest voices in the room rather than staying true to their vision of the game. And when this happens, we will lose the heart of what made Weathern Wave special in the first place. So this is where I'm going to implore you that at the end of the day, we as players should no, we need to remember that Kuro has already given us so much. From free units and weapons to events that help us, you know, with our farming materials, our resources, and the consistency of the quality of life updates, they have shown from time and time again what they value is us. But that doesn't mean that we should start being selfish, that we should start demanding more, that we should... You know, truly, we need to meet them halfway and recognize that this relationship is built on a mutual respect, not an entitlement. I fear that if we continue down this path, you know, the few minority vocal players acting selfish and demanding more, it would seem like, is going to wear down on Kuro. Instead of appreciating the generosity that we receive, I feel that, you know, some are just looking for the next big thing to ask for and that's not and that's not sustainable to anyone neither the company nor the community so again i implore you take a moment to reflect on all that Kerr has done for us instead of demanding more let's show appreciation for what they have already given us let's work better with kuro not against them 
they have already proven they are a company that listens not just to us as players but even to the haters out there they have made many of changes but they can only keep this up as if we are a community that respects the balance between player needs and company vision so i think that's going to be it for today's topic folks Weathering Ways, I will say it like this, is a fantastic game, and Kuro has been an exceptional developer by far. But I do believe in the end, we need to make sure that for ourselves, that we keep our expectations in check. We need to stop letting the sense of entitlement that is being shown out there continue. All right? So, if you enjoyed this conversation of topic, I would implore you, if you don't mind, hit that like button, subscribe for more content on the channel, and let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Do you think the community is being too demanding of Kuro? Do you feel that, you know, they're meeting the player's needs? Let's talk about it, all right? So, until next time, guys, like always, keep it classy, keep it jazzy, and always keep it real, and I'll catch you on the flip side. Peace. Thank <laughs> you.